Hey everybody, Hunter back again from Showtime Studios. Uh, this video is going to be on installing decals over compound curves. Uh, I did a video before on this, but um, I'm working on the uh, GT40 and uh, these orange uh, stripes right here that go up around the headlights and back over the uh, front fenders uh, are very complex and um, I know a lot of people was wanted me to do another video on that showing uh, all the steps so uh, this video may be 20 minutes long it may be a little bit more but I'm gonna go over all the steps that I use to uh, make these uh, decals lay down um, I'll hold the car up here and let you see uh, this is the orange decal that's all one piece and uh, you can see where it has to wrap over the sides of the fenders uh, down over the nose and up and around and through the NACA duct there. Now the NACA ducts, I'm actually going to do those in uh, black. So uh, I'm not sure if it'll show up here. But you can see where I didn't worry about the decal uh, kind of tearing in that area. In fact, I intentionally done that to get everything to lay down. Because once the decal dries, I'll go back in and, and actually cut the uh, excess decal out. And then um, that'll all be taped off after I clear coat the car and uh, sprayed with uh, semi-gloss black. So uh, what we're going to do is go through all the steps on how I go about getting those to lay down and conform. Uh, it's a very tricky decal. And what we're going to be using is not a lot of tools and supplies. We're going to be using, of course, a uh, bowl of water, a pair of tweezers. I'm using a uh, flat brush, uh, kind of what they call a chisel brush. And we're going to be using micro saw, micro set, a piece of uh, paper towel or actually a shop towel that's been wetted uh, that we're going to use for blotting the decal down. And of course the body and the decal itself. So um, we're going to go through all the steps uh, that we use here at Showtime Studios to do these complex decals. So uh, if everybody, you know, if anybody's doing a uh, get ready to do decals or something just kind of follow along with the video and uh, hopefully I can answer all the questions that you can have on this and uh, like I say this will be a longer video because I want to do uh, all the steps that we use and uh, the other thing that we'll also be using is um, a hair dryer uh, that we like we used in the last video and when I turn that on it may get a little noisy but um, I'm gonna do everything right here on the bench so you can see you know what's going on so uh, let's get into this and get started and uh, hopefully the audio doesn't fade out too much because actually my computer is behind me now with the microphone and um, I'll be facing straight ahead away from the microphone so uh, hopefully everything comes out pretty decent so uh, here we go uh, first thing that we're going to do is uh, where the decal goes we're going to go ahead and put down some micro set and the reason why I use the micro set first, uh, even though this is a complex decal, is because it doesn't soften the decal enough to uh, really want to tear the decal when you're trying to get it to somewhat conform initially. So that's why I use the uh, set first. And then you'll see it's using the micro saw uh, later on in the uh, application process. So I just go ahead and put down, uh, just kind of wet the whole area that the decal is going to go in. And next, we're just going to drop the decal in our water. And I'm not sure if you can see the water here, but I can't have too many things in the screen because I have the camera zoomed in. So uh, we're just going to pick up the decal and we're going to set it in the water. And uh, these Fujimi decals are very uh, thin and um, they're a little bit tricky to work with, but on compound curves and the uh, micro set and the micro saw, they uh, seem to react very well to it. And uh, for anybody that, while we got the decal sitting in there uh, in the water, um, you can see the stripes we've already applied on the uh, top of the car and uh, the number badges that we have in so far. And those all wrap down around the front of the car and they also wrap uh, over the rear spoiler up and over. And uh, in all of the panel lines, I actually went back in after the micro sole took effect and uh, lightly cut. Uh, all the panel lines back out uh, to make sure that the uh, decal conforms down into the opening because I will be doing a, a darker panel wash on this uh, just to make it pop out and uh, this is the custom blue that I mixed up uh, it's not the totally accurate color for this car 
but um, it is all uh, the only thing it is is uh, Tamaya acrylics and there's actually three different colors that I blended together to create this uh, no pearls or anything like that this is just like I say uh, uh, Tamaya acrylics and uh, we blended them and I went ahead and sprayed the body last night and uh, shot a uh, coat of uh, TS 13 clear on it this morning straight from the can uh, just to get ready for the decals so uh, that kind of gives you a little bit of history on where we're at so far with the car and what we've done to it. So the next thing I'm going to do is while our decal is still sitting there in the water, I'm going to go ahead and brush on another coat of uh, Micro Set. And like I say, this is a very tricky decal to get to conform. Uh, not as hard as some of them, but uh, for guys that are not real experienced with decals, this would definitely be a uh, problem area for you. So um, hopefully everything that I do in the video, you can kind of uh, learn some techniques from it, and hopefully it'll help everybody out. And if you have any questions or whatever, just leave me a comment on the video, and I'll be more than glad to, you know, answer them or do another video to show you, you know, a more kind of a, a pinpoint step on what you need help on. So we're going to go ahead and take the uh, decal out of the water now. And we're going to lay it down on our shop towel here and just kind of bleed some of the water off of it. And that's why it's always nice to have a shop towel down on your surface here because as you lay this decal down, you can kind of wick some of the water off of it. And because I've got to watch my placement, um, hopefully you'll be able to see where this is going on. But I'll turn it around and show you what we got when we first put the decal on the surface. But now we're just going to slide the decal off the backing and get it roughly in the neighborhood of where we want it to be. And that's pretty close to where we want it to be. I'm going to bump it over here just a little bit on this side. We have the uh, clear headlight covers that go on this, so I'm trying to get the decal to uh, be as close to rolling over the uh, edges at the recess where the headlight covers go on as I can. And then that way we don't have to do any touch-up paint or anything like that around the opening. And I'm just sliding everything around. I I'm dipping my brush in the water right now and coming up underneath of the decal just to get some water underneath of it so we can move it around without tearing it. And with the micro set underneath of it, it will move a little bit, um, but if you, after a little while, that micro set's going to tend to take hold and you won't be able to move it as easy, so you'll end up having to put more water underneath of the decal. We've got it pretty close, actually. That's looking pretty good there. And I'm going to go ahead and hold it up and show you what it looks like when we first put the decal on. And uh, you can see the uh, wrinkles that we have in that compared to the other side that's already on. And a lot of the wrinkles are going to be where it rolls down over the edge here. And uh, right through this area here, you're going to have a lot of wrinkles. So uh, you just have to kind of work those out. We're going to put it back down here again, and uh, next we're going to go in with uh, Micro Set on top of the decal. And what I like to do is actually start more toward the center of my decal with the Micro Set. And I'm not going to try to work over these compound curves on this side. I'm going to work everything on the side that's not curved as much. And the reason why I do that is it kind of gets the decal to take a set and stay put. Uh, and that way, when we start working all of these compound curves down, it doesn't pull the decal over. So we're just brushing on the micro set now. And then after we get a coat of that down, we're going to go ahead and hit it with the hair dryer. And don't worry about the uh, hair dryer bothering this over here, because once we put the micro uh, saw on it, that's going to take care of that. I'm just trying to get everything to lay down. Like I say, this video is going to be a little longer, but um, I just want to go through all the steps. And uh, I know uh, Don Sheridan had asked me about this, 
and I did a uh, video where we did a decal on the Mustang body, and uh, that wasn't too bad to do. This is a little bit more complex, uh, trying to get this to lay down and, and look pretty accurate. So uh, we've got that laying down pretty good. What I'm going to do now is uh, I've got the hair dryer set on a uh, warm setting. So we're going to go ahead and um, turn that on and put some heat on the decal. So here we go with that. And I'm just going to do it right here on, you know, on video just to let everybody see what I'm doing. And I've got the uh, hair dryer pretty close to the uh, decal. You don't want to get right up against it because it can... Uh, actually uh, work the decal, so you don't want to do that. And I'm trying to keep the heat more on this side of the decal here, instead of over on this outside edge. Okay, that's enough heat on that for right now. Now you'll notice that we do have some wrinkles there. Uh, that's what we're going to use this little uh, piece of uh, shop towel for that's been wetted and we're going to go in and we're just going to kind of block the decal down on this inside edge to get it to conform and this is just light pressure for now because you're trying to work out the uh, wrinkles and the bubbles and you don't want to press too hard because you can create a wrinkle in it especially with the micro set um, and it's even worse when you get to the micro saw. So uh, just kind of be patient and just work along the way and you'll block the air bubbles out of it, or most of them anyway. Uh, that's what we're going to use the micro saw for is to get the decal to pull the rest of the way down. And I'm kind of working from the center of the decal to this inside edge right now. Like I say, just to get the inside to lay down and get it pretty much set before we try to do this harder part on the outside edges. And once we blot it down, it's going to look something like that right there. You can still see some wrinkles in it, but we're getting closer. So next we're going to go to the micro saw, which really um, makes the decal conform to the surface. But you have to be careful with this also because when you get micro saw on it, it really starts to soften the decal. And you can take a, uh, if you try to twist it or pat it down too much or move it at this point, it could rip the decal. And most likely it will rip the decal. So be very, uh, make sure you have the decal pretty much exactly where you need it before you start with this micro saw. And of course, for micro saw, you're going to create some more wrinkles, but the thing you have to understand is that's the product working. Um, that's the decal softening up and conforming. And sometimes you have to let some of those wrinkles kind of sit there, and they will work themselves out. And uh, the one thing I forgot to mention that we're going to use is a number 11 blade and the hobby knife. And what I'm going to do is go in here on the NACA duck on the uh, flat part of it back here at the opening and I'm just going to put a slit in this decal just like that and I'll hold it up here and hopefully you can see where I put the slit in the decal you can see the opening there um, that way we can get it to conform a little bit more and like I say, I'm not worried about this piece that's going to go down inside the NACA duct because we are taking that out when everything dries and painting those black. Uh, not sure if that's 100% accurate for the car, but that's what I'm doing on this one since, you know, I built it the way that I want to build it. And uh, even like the color that's on this car, it's not 100% accurate as far as the color that's on the real car. But it looks pretty close to me, and uh, that's what we're going with. So I've got a, I'm putting another batch of the uh, micro saw on. And now I'm starting to push the decal down into the NACA duck a little bit, which will create some wrinkles on the outside of it. And now we're going to go back to the hair dryer again and try to get that to lay down pretty decent. Again on the warm setting. Now 
And like I say, don't be uh, worried that the decal is wrinkling up a little bit. That's just the micro saw doing what it's supposed to do. Some heat on that, so now I'm going to take our uh, our blotting cloth, and I'm going to go back in and finish working the wrinkles that we have over in that area, and uh, make sure that you keep the blotting cloth wet because if you don't, if it gets dry, it will pull the decal back up off the surface and most likely ruin the decal. So be very careful with that, and make sure you keep this blotting uh, piece of paper towel as damp as you can. It doesn't have to be dripping, just damp. And I'm starting to push it around the front here a little bit to get it to conform down over top the edge of the nose. Like I say, a lot of people have trouble with this uh, with this step on the uh, compound curves, but it's just uh, using the right products and the right procedures and kind of taking your time and watching what's happening with the decal. I'll hold it up here and you can see that the decal is starting to uh, flatten out now uh, on that inside edge. So next I'm going to go back in with some more uh, micro saw and go right back over from about the center to the uh, inside edge and cover all that area. And I also want to get some down over the front here and in front of the uh, headlight door where it rolls underneath of the, uh, the nose of the car. That's why I said this video would be a little bit longer because I wanted to show all the steps in doing it. Uh, there's some people that came onto my videos and said, you know, I'm, I'm not showing everything. And uh, I disagree with that because I show pretty much everything that needs to be, um, you know, kind of explained or whatever. But I guess some people still think I'm cheating or doing something that I'm, I'm not giving them all the information. So uh, that's why we're doing this video. And yes, this year has been bad for stink bugs. As you can see, I got one that just landed right here. I don't know where they come from in this house, but uh, they love this hobby room for some reason or another. So don't pay any attention to him. Unless he gets over here on the car and then he's going to get flipped uh, clear across the bench. And that's already happened to him once. Unless he goes up that micro saw bottle and falls in it, that'll be the end of him. Okay, we've got the uh, inside laying down very well. So now i got to get rid of uh, Mr. Stinkbug here. All right, he's down on the floor now. It's a good place for him. He'll probably be back, though. So we're going to go ahead and put some micro saw on the outer edges now, and we're going to start working that down. Basically the same thing we did on the inner, but uh, the outer is a little bit more difficult because you have more of a compound curve. So you just want to work the uh, micro saw in. And get everything to start laying down pretty well. Now what I do with this step is I get the micro saw to go down first, but we're going to actually skip the heat right now. And we're going to get this down here and let it sit for just a second or so. And uh, then we're going to blot it with the towel to kind of push some of the air bubbles out of it. And we move it back over here in the picture so you can see what I'm doing. Camera zoomed in. I'm working in a very narrow window here with the camera. So now we're just going to block the decal down again, working from about the center to the outside. Now we've already got the inside pretty good. Just lightly blotting it, 
this to help pull the wrinkles and stuff out and work the air out from underneath of the decal. It also helps stretch the decal a little bit. And that's what you got to be careful of, of ripping it because the decal is moving around and these decals are thin anyway, so you have to be a little bit more careful with it. We got that looking pretty good, so I'm going to go ahead and hit it with another coat of uh, Microsoft. And then this time we're going to go ahead and put the heat on it since we've got it laying down pretty good. And again, we're going to work from the center to this outside edge. You'll notice I'm not doing anything in here. Uh, actually, right here at the headlight opening, I need to put a little bit more Microsoft right there. That's kind of things to watch for. You want this to roll down over the edge of this headlight uh, opening. So when you put the clear lens in, it actually, um, you won't have a gap or uh, any of the blue colors showing out from underneath of it. All right, so we have that down. We're going to hit it with the hair dryer on the warm setting again. And it should actually uh, draw down pretty good right now. It's going to get some wrinkles in it. Like I say, it's the microsol doing what it's supposed to do. Don't worry about that. A lot of times you can let it sit and uh, overnight, and it will draw down perfectly without having to touch it. Got that. I'll go ahead and hold it back up here and I'll show you the progress that we're making. Uh, that's that side. You can see a few small wrinkles in it. Nothing major. Uh, that'll all get worked out. So next we're going to go ahead and um, hit it with the micro saw again. And this time I'm going to go ahead and actually do the whole decal to get everything to lay down. We're going to do our probably our final blotting uh, with the paper towel on this here. Okay, now next we're going to move in with the uh, wet paper towel. And the more that you go along with uh, putting the, the micro saw on, the more careful you have to be with putting this uh, blotting the decal you want to make sure that you don't put a twist or anything on it when you're blotting it down uh, because if you twist it it will tear the decal and at this stage here there's really no fixing it you can try to uh, kind of seam it back together but most likely uh, with this orange decal on this blue body you're going to see where it's put back together um, the easiest way to probably do this car would be to paint this orange on but I didn't want to order custom paint for the car because I'm trying to get it done for this uh, weekend show. So I'm using the decals. And it just kind of keeps me up to practice, you know, on doing decal work. And actually, I enjoy doing decals. I think they're a challenge. And um, over the years, I've learned how to work with them. And that's why I wanted to kind of do this video to show everybody that, you know, don't get discouraged if you see some wrinkles. You just have to uh, be patient and let the products do the work and make sure you have this blotting towel. Just blot everything down. And we're looking real good there. I'll go ahead and hold it up again. Uh, you can see how well it is laying down. There's a few small bubbles in it, nothing major. Um, even around the sides and around the front there. And everything's even. Looks real good. So what I'll do next is go ahead and hit this with the hair dryer again on the warm setting. And this should really help pull everything down now. I'm actually getting it a little bit closer this time around with the heat because the decal is very close to being where we want it. You don't want to get too close because, like I say, you can melt the decal or, or deform it where it, uh, you can't correct it. So be careful with that. 
And I don't recommend using the very hot setting on your hair dryer unless you have a very low wattage one. I always use the warm setting. pretty good there. I've got a couple little wrinkles around here on the side. So I'm going to go ahead and block those. I'm going to put a little bit more pressure on it this time, just pushing straight down on the decal. And that's going to help pull these wrinkles and flatten them out a little bit. It's also uh, moving the decal around when you do that. So like I say, even though you're putting a little bit more pressure on it, be careful with it. We've got everything on this inside edge looking real good. Everything looks good around the front here. Uh, the most work that you're going to have to do is probably right through here because that's where the most of the compound curve is. And we've got it looking like that right now um, on the uh, decal. And like I say, there's a couple wrinkles right there on the, on the uh, trickiest part of the compound curve. But uh, overall, that's what you want to see. Everything's laying down real good, except for a couple little problem areas. Now, what I'm going to do is go back in with uh, Micro Saw, and I'm going to go over the entire decal again. Inside, outside, you want to cover everything that's, that's in the orange or whatever color decal you're working with. And be very light with your brush. Just kind of let the uh, brush float on top of the surface and spread the micro saw around. Because if you put too much pressure on it with the brush, the uh, tension of the bristles will pull the decal apart. And you don't want to do that at this stage. You've come too far and you got it so close. So, uh, you know, take your time and be very, uh, just be very light-handed when you're doing this. Being heavy-handed will get you in trouble, just like with detail painting. So, uh... Just use a very light pressure or no pressure at all. Just kind of spread the uh, micro saw around. And that is pretty much all there is to doing a very complex curve uh, on a decal. Uh, this is not the most complex you can get, but this is uh, pretty complex and a lot of, uh, a lot of different angles and, and radiuses you have to go over. But that's what it looks like now, and uh, we'll probably do a follow-up video on it. Uh, tomorrow, uh, once everything pulls down totally overnight, and I'll show you how it come out before we do any clear coat or anything like that. In fact, uh, I got to get the rest of the decals on tonight, and then I'll do a um, I'll do another video tomorrow to show you what it looks like after the decals have been installed, and then we'll be doing a clear coat over those, and uh, we'll be doing also some uh, panel line shading and a little bit of weathering to make it look a little bit more realistic. And uh, then we'll probably be doing a semi-gloss clear over top of everything. So uh, that's all we have as far as doing complex curves uh, with decals. And if you have any questions or concerns, leave me a comment on the video. And um, I'll be more glad to answer any questions you have on it. And uh, that's all we've got for this video. So stay tuned for the one coming up tomorrow. Like always, I thank you for watching and supporting Showtime Studios. And we'll talk to you later.